G'day everyone, welcome to this week's Ask APT. So this week we're going to talk about trapped pressure and how to dissipate it when a machine's shut down or why some of the methods that we already know might not really work. So what I've got set up here is our excavator. Um, this is our training excavator, we only use it for training purposes, it's not really made to lift anything. And my valve bank here, what I've got is three control levers. So my three control levers here, I've got a manual one, and I've got one here that's controlled by the joystick over in the back corner. And I've also got this one here, which is controlled by the electrics, the solenoids, and that's controlled by my box over here. So if we start up the pump, we can see that I can lift and lower my boom and I can move the stick in and out and I can also move the bucket up and down so you can see there that the bucket's set in a position now, if I come over to the joystick, the joystick operates the stick and the push buttons operate the bucket. Now all of my functions are sitting where I want them to sit and where, what I want them to be doing. So they all work and they all do what I'm expecting. Now if I shut down my pump we pretend that I've got an excavator here. My excavator at the moment is sitting with the boom in the air, the stick in the wrong position and the bucket in the wrong position. Now in the old days what we could do with a DCV that has our handles directly on the spool is we would come to the handle here and operate the handle and we could dissipate that energy there just by allowing the oil out of the cylinder. Now of course if we look back, that's allowed our boom to come down and we're quite happy with that. If I come back over and I operate my joystick, my stick doesn't move, so it's still got energy there. And if I use my push buttons, again, I might have power. We can see we've got the light over there for the power, but the bucket hasn't, hasn't moved and therefore my bucket is still sitting up in the air and I've got some stored energy there. Now the, the reason that this is, and, and as our machines have developed, we've, got, we've gone from having a manual lever operation where the oil actually came from the, the valve bank and went straight out the hoses, to now we're using a joystick and that joystick reduces the operator input and that's great and it also means that the operator is exposed to a lower pressure in the driver's cab so this might be at 50 bar whereas our system might be at 350 bar and we've also progressed a little bit further and we've now got electric controls which means that our operators don't have any oil around the cab near them they've only got 24 volt electricity which is very very safe to have around them but the downside being that while we've got no hydraulic pressure running and the, the pump isn't running, that means that these spools don't actually do anything when we operate our remote control systems. So the trick with these systems is, is that we need to make sure that while the pump's running, we dissipate or we park the machine in a safe spot to ensure that we have no stored pressure before we start doing any operations or any work or maintenance on it. Um, and it's particularly important for maintainers to understand that while that, that boom or that bucket is sitting in that state, it's generating pressure in the hoses and therefore if we take that hose off, we might actually expose ourselves to a hazardous situation. So that's this week's Ask APT. Remembering that with our modern systems, we have to actually park the system properly to make sure that there's no stored pressure in the cylinders before we, we try to do any maintenance on it. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you can think of any other questions or any feedback at all on our, our videos, shoot us a message below or send us an email and we'll answer your questions. <laughs>